get it right Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at my top 10 all-time favorite RPGs. Given that there are so many different franchises, we will strictly pick from one game specifically per franchise. An example would be in a Final Fantasy series. I will only be able to pick one game from that series as my favorite even though I really enjoyed 4, 6, 7, and 10, I can only choose one. This will force me to really pick what I believe made an impact in my life and shaped the way I love RPGs today. Also, the lists are games that I actually played. With so many responsibilities and taking care of my family, I still haven't gotten to many games like Xenoblade Chronicles, The Witcher 3, Final Fantasy XV, and even the Yakuza series that I've been really craving for. Without further ado, here is part one of two in my top 10 favorite RPGs. Tales of Vesperia comes in at number 10 as my favorite RPG in the Tales series from Bandai Namco released in 2008 for the Xbox 360. The Tales series originated on the Super Nintendo back in 1995 with Tales of Fantasia and my first glimpse was on the 360 with Vesperia. Boy, did I miss out if the other tales were this similar. Vesperia was the first fast-paced battle system that I ever played, making the stale genre fresh and fun to grind for higher levels. Combined with great visual story and overall quality, I was impressed from beginning to end. Could you be any more stubborn? Why won't you listen? We made this choice so humans and Entelikea could move on together. The Entelikea will regret that decision, and humans will wish they had died. I won't regret it, no matter what you say. Our resolve runs deeper than that. Even if it means fighting for our lives. Such a foolish conclusion. There's no longer any point in talking. I guess we have to fight. I guess we can't change you. No more! <laughs> Fantasy Star 3 Generations of Doom comes in at number 9 that was released by Sega on the Sega Genesis in 1990. I was so addicted to this game I actually bought the guide with a complete walkthrough and dungeon maps to help you along. As my very first RPG I ever finished, I love the story where you can play three generations of families to eventually defeat the main evil and your grandchild from the first generation will be able to take on. You will get to choose who you marry and able to produce two different branching storylines with four different endings. Talk about replay value. This one game alone wasn't the best but truly started my path on deciding on story being the most important aspect of a game. Skies of Arcadia for the Sega Dreamcast was developed by Overworks and released by Sega in 2000. This game is a strong number 8 in my book for its enormous quest and fantastic visuals that really caught me off guard. A game I felt is stronger than Grandia 2, Skies of Arcadia set the bar for me on things to do besides your main quests. It was one of the first games that you can get totally lost trying to build the perfect pirate island as you can spend money on building structures and even soup up your airship. Fantastic whimsical story, music, and 3D visuals made this game one that really needs a remake or remaster.
Final Fantasy II for the Super Nintendo and 4 in Japan was the first RPG I ever played that blew me away in story, sound, and quality. Coming in at number 7, the game was released in 1991. Square brought the first translated Final Fantasy to the Super Nintendo and it was glorious. The sound, story, enemies, and pacing was top notch. I was a huge Sega guy, but I remember sleeping over my friend's house and playing on his Super Nintendo all night in trying to find out what happens next. We probably slept one to two hours, but it was worth it. I was amazed on what Nintendo's machine without blast processing could do, and it was awesome. Didn't get a Super Nintendo until Street Fighter 2 came out, but this singular game made it quite close to cross the lines. The final game, at number 6, we will take a look at for part 1 of my favorite top 10 RPGs is Grandia on the Sega Saturn. Labeled as the Final Fantasy Killer, the game was developed by Game Arts in 1997 and has stood the test of time with their HD remake in 2019. This game looked fantastic, mixing character sprites in a full world of 3D. I was amazed on how great the overall quality was but I love their new take on combat. I actually had to think more than a usual turn-based action. It was really fun to grind for once. Only con was I can't read Japanese as I followed the walkthrough summarizing what happened. It wasn't until the Sony's PlayStation release where I bought the digital version on my PlayStation Portable to really dig into the story. And I wasn't disappointed. Oh! Oh, Justin, not you again. You just don't learn trashing my shit again. I didn't trash it. Why won't you listen to me? I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. Shut up! There's no treasure in all that junk. Now you've completely trashed it. Anyway, don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? That's it for me on part one of this top 10 RPG special episode. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and Greg, take us out of here. Justin, Justin, you okay? That sounded like it hurt. Oh, Sue, did you see that? Don't worry, a punch like that, nothing to it. For a first-rate adventurer, it comes with the territory. Damn.